Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily correct and balance your lighting issues in photos. So often times when you are taking photos we tend to focus more on the face and the topmost parts of the body and we put less emphasis on the lower parts of the body. So in these cases or in these instances we tend to have less light reaching the lower parts of the bodies. So just want to see how we can match the skin tone for example, within those lower parts of the bodies, and also how to increase on the light that is hitting those areas so that they can match and be a little bit more uniform with the rest of the body. And for this case, I'm just going to be using the legs of this model right here, and we just want to see how we can retouch. And I want to share with you the, sec the secrets that are usually incorporated with retouching these kinds of complicated or complex areas. So stick around up the end of this story because this is going to be a life-changing story and you're going to be benefiting a lot and before you can proceed I just have a request hit the like button because when you hit the like button this video is going to be recommended to more people out there who are interested in learning so much from the photography content or from this photography related channel so as you can see this is the image that we have at disposal and we just want to retouch and we see how best we're going to be transforming this image using frequency separation and those who usually know me you know my frequency separation action usually has that kind of empty layer and we are just going to be using that layer to match the colors and also I want to share a clipping where that is going to also brighten up this image to really look nice and awesome so I'm just going to come right here to my actions and I'm going to play my frequency separation 8-bit action because this is an 8-bit image just come right here and play my 8-bit action and it's going to play and for the radius you have to make sure the preview is on and in order to choose the right radius you have to look for the area that has more textures or more details in the area that you want to target and move this radius up to a point when the details are just starting to get lost from the image so 7 is fine for me and I'm going to hit OK and action is going to play so as you can see, this is the layer I'm trying to talk about in this tutorial. And those interested in my actions, you can as well check the links in the description of this video to support this channel by purchasing or supporting my digital SOA products. And you're going to be getting the retouching essentials pack and it contains this action. And if at all you don't have the money to purchase the actions and you have a frequency separation action, after playing it, just select the low frequency layer or the color layer. And when it is selected, just come right here and create a new layer between uh, your frequency separation or between the color and the texture layer. And this layer that is, it is going to be really helpful in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going first of all retouch using a mixer brush tool. So I'm just basically going to turn that off and also turn off the high frequency layer. And what I want to do right now, I'm just going to come to this image and get my mixer brush tool and for the way the settings clean brush and make sure you select this second option because we want the brush to be clean as you're trying to blend these skin tones the weight is 9 load 75 mix 90 and the flow at 100 percent make sure sample all as in is not ticked or is not checked because we only want to blend the colors within the low frequency layer and what we are going to do right now just going to start painting or blending the colors in this very photo so in order to blend those colors we are simply going to come here and start evening out these colors so we're just going to be painting colors that look alike in this photo and you're just going to come right here and just start painting those colors that look alike and as you're seeing right now the reason for turning the texture layer off is because we only want to look at the colors in the image so I'm just going to be painting colors that look alike in this photo, just like that. So I'm basically trying to make the colors look better and uniform. And we have uniform colors or colors that are slightly related to one another and colors that are not conflicting basically. So I'm just going to paint in those colors. And as you're seeing, we are really getting the image to look plastic but this is our main goal because the more plastic it looks it means that we are only going to be looking at the colors in the photo 
But when we turn on the textures, we're going to be seeing the rest of the details in the photo. So the more plastic it gets when you turn off the uh, high frequency layer, the better the photo is going to become or look. So let's just come and we paint in those areas. So just take your time because if at all you're really interested in giving your client the best results or the best out of your retouching, you always have to be patient every single time you're doing uh, retouching on uh, the images or on specific areas within the photo. So just come and do this. So I'm just going to paint right there. So I'm just trying to blend or match or create even colors or even color transitions. So I'm just going to paint right there. So come this other left, other second leg rather, and just blend those colors just like that. And the more uniform they are getting, the better your image is going to look at the end of a retouching process. So reduce on the size by using the brackets on the keyboard, the open and close box brackets. And you can play around with different sizes depending on the area that you're trying to work on. So we are almost done using the mixer brush tool. And I just hope you don't switch off because we have just started this tutorial and we are just going to really get the best out of it. So let's just paint through. I'm just going to come and paint this even more or better and just do that. So right now let's see our progress for just the mixer brush tool and let's see what we have so far. That's the before and the after before after. So for these areas I tend to also incorporate the lasso tool technique. So I'm just going to do lasso tool and use command plus to zoom in. <coughs> so basically I'm just going to leave the feather at 22 pixels and come and select this area. Just like that. Just select one area just like that. Don't select the whole a leg as a whole. Just select a specific area that has almost same colors or similar colors. Then come to filter and come to blur and come all the way down to gush and blur. So usually I multiply this radius by 3 for the face area when I'm retouching. And for the lower areas, for example the legs, I usually add 5 to that value. So 7 by 3 is 21 and 21 plus 5 is 26. So I'm just going to type in 26 and you can see it transforms and makes that even better. And you're just going to be applying that result onto the rest of the leg area. So I'm just going to come right there and right click and come to Gush and Blur. So basically, we're not trying to do a retouching tutorial today. We just want to see how best we can match the colors in this image. And also how perfect we can get out of all the results we may be able to get out of this photo at the end of this tutorial. And if at all you're enjoying and you're learning something new, don't forget to hit the like button on this video because when you hit the like button, it means that YouTube is going to recommend this video to more people out there. So just come and apply it on those areas. You could just come and as well apply it right here. Right click and come to Gaussian Blur just like that. So zoom out and now let's get rid of these blemishes in the leg area. So just come to the high frequency layer and get the clone stamp tool. And current layer is selected, opacity and the flow at 100%. We have to zoom in and now get rid of this. So alternate to copy and paste. Alternate left click to copy and left click to paste. So basically that is how you are going to clean up these blemishes just from those areas. I'm just going to get rid of these others and I'm just trying to be as fast as possible because I don't want this to be like my usual long tutorials because some of you often say that I do so much of your talking and you complain way so much. So let me just try to get rid of this. So right now I just want to get rid of this black areas by using and copying and pasting using my clone stamp tool and like i'm saying we are not yet done because we are not yet 
started with the major emphasis for this tutorial and I haven't shown you how to use that empty layer within your frequency separation tool make this image look even better so I'm just trying to get rid of these uneven textures from the photo and have the best out of it so and I really don't love forwarding anything when I'm retouching so right now we are done removing those uh, blemishes or imperfections from the image after retouching so what we want to do right now we just want to get the image to look better and just come to the layer the empty layer right within or between the high frequency and the low frequency layer that middle layer just come and now get a brush and it's going to be a normal brush this time around it is not a mixer brush too it is just a normal brush opacity we're just going to use an opacity of around 10 percent so just take the opacity all the way down to 10 percent i prefer 10 percent and the floor at 100 percent and right now we just want to sample and paint color within this area and in order to do that we're just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and when, when you hold down alternate it gets you to the eyedropper tool or the color picker tool so alternate and click on the area that you, or the color that you really prefer to copy from and meaning that brush is going to be containing that color you can see the color we have just copied and we're just going to start painting on the leg just like that so you have to be copying and take it gradually as you're trying to move down because light is really gradual when it falls on different parts of your body so just come and be careful with that so you're basically trying to copy and paint color to this image just like that and i'm just going to come right and even transform those areas so i'm just getting color using my brush and simply painting to have even a better area and it is really brightening up those areas let me show you the before and after for the image and you can see how nice it has really transformed the image so for this dark area i could just come and choose a color that is really bright for example from this area alternate and left click and just come and start painting that color in that area and it's going to start brightening up or matching the color within the skin in this particular area so basically that is how, what i'm going to be doing in these areas and it's going to really transform this image to look even quite better so let's just try and brighten up this area and have the best out of it so alternate and copy that color and just come and paint so you have to keep on sampling from different areas that are close to the area that you just want to brighten so that the color change is really gradual and can come and as well apply it on the knees just like that come here and also apply that color and it's going to really make the image better so as you're doing this always make sure that you keep on checking on your progress as you're trying to paint through so let's see before after before after and you can see what we have right now so let's see before and after you can as well come and slightly brighten up these areas in this back foot or back leg depending on your origin and just come and do this onto the rest of the photo just like that so basically trying to brighten up and make the image look even better just like that so you can as well come and brighten up this area even more if at all need be or if at all you wish to so i feel like that was a little bit intense so i'm just going to copy from here and just brighten up that just like that And copy and paint through so in this way we're just going to be matching the skin color or skin tone to really be nice and even throughout uh, the image 
hope you are seeing and loving this. So the next thing that we want to do, if at all you feel like it is really fine for you, you can just stop at this point and you can see a before and after. But if at all you just want to take it a step higher, you can as well add a little bit of dodging and burning to these areas to enhance or darken the areas. So I'm just going to come and play my dodging and burning and dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows. And for this case, I feel like I just want to add dimension to the highlights of this image and the shadows. So just come and play my global dodging and burning action and simply come right here. And I'm going to select first of all my dodge and get the same brush, same settings. I make sure I have white on top. So have white as the foreground color here. And in order to reset, you can use these two small boxes and use X to toggle between black and white. So with the white brush, I'm just going to be enhancing the highlights by simply painting on the areas I feel should have had highlights just like that. So in this way, I'm just going to be dodging those areas. And you can see this is fine. I'm just going to come these other areas and also you can as well use the dodge to brighten up the dark areas and just brighten that, them up even more just like that. So you can now come to the burn and also burn the dark areas within the photo just like that and just burn those dark areas and you can come and brighten up this area if at all you really have the time just like that so let's see the before and after for everything so far so hold on the alternate you can see the before and after before after before after so basically this is how to correct and match skin tones using my empty layer and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you not subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating